Hey, I'm Rory, aka The Guitar Ninja, and in this video lesson I'm going to take you through how to play a simple riff on the guitar from absolutely nothing. If you've never even held a guitar before, this is the best first lesson for you ever to check out. I'm going to go into small details on little things like what a plectrum is and how to hold it, to what the basic parts are that you need to understand, and then even take you through enough that you leave this with a little song that you can actually play by yourself along to some music and things like that. So very comprehensive lesson here. This is a perfect first ever lesson if you've never touched a guitar before in your life. You will need to have your own guitar to practice with, but that is all that's required. If you don't even have a plectrum, you can use your fingers if you need to, but I'll take you through the plectrum, especially if you want to go down a more rock route. So before I even start the lesson, I just want to make you aware that I've been a guitar teacher now for over 16 years. I've toured with bands, I've started with students as young as six, and some that have started guitar in their 80s so I have plenty of experience playing, teaching and all sorts when it comes to the guitar. If you're interested in learning a lot more about guitar I have specialised courses that take you through things as bite size if not more bite size than even this video will on the Guitar Ninja Academy and for the first few grades worth of guitar playing you can use the Guitar Ninja absolutely free with the option to sign up to premium if you want to continue your journey as well. There's loads of fun size for the Academy so I'll make sure there's a link below for that. But anyway, let's jump straight into your first ever guitar lesson video. So before we even start playing guitar, it's well worth knowing a few basic parts and bits and bobs like that to really help that when people are talking about things or when I'm mentioning parts of the guitar, you know what I'm referring to. So first of all, the guitar is split into three main parts. This is the case if it's an electric or an acoustic like this one up here. So it starts off with the head section. This has our tuners on, but we don't need to worry too much about that. We've got three main parts, the head, the long neck, and then the big body, kind of like a draft. Smaller head, long neck, bigger body. The next thing to be aware of is our strings, obviously. Our strings we count from the ground upwards, like the stories of a building. So this would be string one, two, three, four, five, and six. If you don't have six strings on your guitar, then it's probably not the right guitar for a beginner. You've either got some snap strings, you've got a different instrument, or perhaps you've got a more advanced guitar, like a seven or eight string guitar. Please note that a ukulele is not a guitar. It has four strings and is tuned differently, just in case you've joined this video with a ukulele. The next thing you need to be aware of is the frets. Now these sections on the neck, these gaps between the metal strips, these are your frets, and they count from the head towards the body. So this is fret one, two, three, four, and so on. And the dots that some of the guitars have are there just to help you know whereabouts you are. The dots always fall on the same frets if you have the markers, and some have them as far down as one, some on three. Most of them that have markers will start at least by five. So we have one, three, five, seven, nine, and 12. Not too important at this stage, but they're there just to help you know where you are on the neck, because imagine having to count up to 12 every single time. It'd be quite easy to get lost and you won't be able to play that fast. So that's what they're there for. So again, quick recap, head, neck, body, the strings we count from the ground up, one, two, three, four, five, six. The frets are these gaps on the neck and they count from the head towards the body, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So if you see this in a normal seated position, then we've got frets one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. On the body, on all guitars, we have a bridge. That's the other side of where the strings rest. So we, the strings go from the head to the bridge on the body. We could go into all the other bits and bobs, but it's not needed for a first guitar lesson. We want to be able to play the guitar. Next thing to be aware of is our finger numbers. They start from our index towards our little on the fretting hand here. The hand that's going to be on the fretboard, most people, their left hand. So this will be finger one, two, three, four. Simple as that. So if I ask you to play the third string in the fifth fret with your first finger, then you can go string one, two, three, third string, fifth fret, one, two, three, four, five, and the first finger is the finger I'm already using. Now I'd pinch that as strong as I can between the finger and thumb. Notice how I haven't gripped the hand round like this. I'm pinching with the thumb and index finger. Almost like I'm angry at the string. I'm gonna pinch it hard enough like I, like I don't like it. And then I'm gonna make sure that I'm picking that same string with this hand. Now you could start with just a finger or thumb. If I put the volume on, it sounds like this. Or the thumb. Or even better, we can use a plectrum. Now a plectrum is a small piece of plastic that helps us play with the strings. You can get wooden ones, you can get metal ones, 
Metal's not actually good for your strings or pickups, but plenty of famous people use them, so they're obviously not the end of the world to use. Now, the big trick with using a plectrum. There is a big trick here that helps. Don't have this much plectrum sticking out. By having it gripped so small, you've got loads of room for the plectrum to flick, and there you go, fall out of your grip, which I wasn't even trying to demo there. I was gonna get into that though. So we wanna make sure we've got a nice good amount of plectrum in our fingers. We also, the more plectrum sticking out, the harder it is to be accurate. So what I tend to do is hold just a very small amount in the other hand, give a thumbs up, put the plectrum on the side of my finger, and bring my thumb down. Not easy to see, so let's do this again on the smaller one. So I'm gonna pinch it from the, this hand that's not using the plectrum. I'm gonna do a thumbs up, and then I'm gonna put this on the side of my finger. Then bring the thumb down to pinch, and then I should be left with just a very small amount of plectrum sticking out. And that very small amount, I'm then gonna relax the hand, because this, too much tension is gonna make me play bad as well. So a small amount of plectrum sticking out. This is described better on the Guitar Ninja Academy. I've got a whole video just on the best way to hold the plectrum, which will take you through that step by step. So I've gone through things fairly fast so far. We've gone through the parts, head, neck, and body, the strings we count up, the frets we count from the head towards the body, boom, 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 boom. the fingers, one, two, three, four. We found the right string and right fret and right finger earlier. And then with the plectrum, we need to make sure we're also playing the same string that we're trying to play with this hand. So string one, two, three. Again, if I put the volume on, we get a nice clean sound. Now, if I wasn't pinching the string hard enough, it might do this noise. That could still be with the finger in the right place and the plectrum hitting the right string, but it's gonna cause that sound because we're not squeezing the string hard enough. This can also happen if we're in the wrong place within a fret. So the best place to be is behind the metal but the closest to the body side of the fret as you can get. So out of all of this, if I keep the same amount of pressure but move from the head towards the body side, you get this. So being just behind the metal towards the body side, a nice strong pinch like you're angry, and then we can pick with the plectrum. Okay, so now you've got holding a plectrum, finding the place to play the notes, let's have a go at playing along with our first thing. Now there is a song called The Ninja Anthem that was written by myself for the Guitar Ninja lessons to progress through the grades. So there's easier parts of the song and harder parts for the different levels. So for us, as brand new beginners, we're gonna start by playing the most basic rhythm section. And that goes like this. <laughs> Now that short section is looped six times for the full song. You can actually hear the song, there'll be a link below to it in the description. It's also available on Spotify, Amazon Play and everything. It's called The Ninja Anthem by The Guitar Ninja. So you'll be able to play along with the actual song. It's only one minute long and takes six loops of those notes for us to play. So let's get on with the first two notes. So for the first two notes, we're gonna play our fifth string open. So if you remember, we count up. One, two, three, four, five. And when I said open, what that means is we're not going to squeeze on any frets. We need to make sure our fingers are out the way. We don't need to open it up like this, but I'm just doing that for example. We wanna open our hand out the way, make sure our plectrum or fingers are on the fifth string, and we're gonna pick it twice, fairly quick. Now be careful not to hit the other strings. So there's our first two notes, so again, one, two, three, four, five. Make sure this hand's out the way. And hit that string twice. So now we're gonna move on to the next two notes. Now these are actually the hardest notes to play on the guitar as single notes. So if you can do these, you can manage anything, but I promise you it's not too tricky on a guitar that's set up okay. And if you win this guitar, it'll be very easy. Again, competition on this guitar, I'll mention more at the end of the video. Our next note we're gonna play is the first fret on the sixth string. Now what makes the first fret harder to play is where the strings go from the head to the neck, this part here creates a bit of string tension. So it makes it a lot harder to play in the first fret than it does frets further along the neck. So we're gonna play our first fret on the sixth string. So first fret, sixth string, one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember we're gonna pinch between the thumb and the finger. We don't wanna hug the neck like this. We want a thumb behind the neck so we can pinch it, squeeze it just behind the metal towards the body side. 
Then make sure we're on the sixth string, which again is the one at the top, so it's easy to find the sixth string. And we're going to pick that twice, just like we did the open fifth string. So again, this one is a lot more likely to get this sound. Hear those sorts of rattles? Because you're not squeezing it hard enough. This one is the hardest one, but if you can squeeze hard enough to get a clean note here, you can get them anywhere. So let's put the first two notes and the second two notes together. So our open fifth string, hand out the way, fifth string, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go first fret on the sixth string here at the top. Then our next two notes, we're going to come up to the third fret on the sixth string still. So still the string here at the top, but one, two, three, pinch there. And then again with the plectrum, we're going to hit the sixth string twice. And that is our next set of two. And then our last set, the same as the first. So then we're going to play the fifth string. So remember to bring the plectrum back down to the fifth string. And I'll get our fingers out of the way and play that open twice. So to refresh on that whole run, we get this. Open fifth twice. First fret on the sixth string twice. Third fret on the sixth string twice. The open fifth string twice. Now it loops that six times and there's far more layers coming in. So as long as you can get a nice strong pinch just behind the fret wire, you can get a nice clean sound and pick the same string. Then you've started your guitar journey with a song. Okay, so now by applying what we've just played for six whole loops, we're gonna have a go at the Ninja Anthem. Now, to get up to speed, you may want some practice before having a go along with this track. However, some people do manage to get there fairly quick. So let's have a go with it right now. If you struggle, just have a bit more practice and come to it. Just remember that the main thing for getting good at guitar is the amount of time you put into the practice. When people say how long does it take to get good, it's how many repetitions have you done in that time. So somebody saying that they got good at guitar in one year has probably put a few hours in every single day to actually playing. Those that say they've been playing for 10 years and aren't that good probably only put 10 minutes in here and there. So it's all about how much practice you put in yourself. So if we go through this and you struggle, but you sit down for just half an hour and keep practicing to get that speed up and the notes clean, this song should be achievable for anybody in that amount of time. So the Ninja Anthem. Two, one, two, three, four. First on the set. Up to third fret. Open fifth string. Open fifth again to start. First fret on the sixth. Up to the third fret. Open fifth string. Open fifth string again. First fret on the sixth. Up to the third fret. Open sixth string. The open sixth string again. First fret on the sixth. Up to the third fret. Open fifth. Open fifth string again. First fret on the sixth. Up to the third fret. Open fifth string. Last loop, open fifth again. First fret on the sixth. Up to the third fret. Open fifth string to finish. And there you have the Ninja Anthem. Now, the full song, you'll hear all the layers of the other grades of guitar level that the Guitar Ninja has to offer. So let's have a listen to the full thing now. You can have a go at playing along if you want, but it may be harder with everything else that's going on on the track. And then we'll go into more detail on how you could win this guitar. Okay, so it's a lot easier to play whilst you're sat down than standing up. But I thought I'd stand up to play through the track. This is the actual Ninja Anthem as you would hear it on YouTube or Spotify with me playing along. So let's go again. Remember it loops, so open fifth. First on the sixth. Up to the third fret. Open fifth string. Open fifth again. First on the sixth. Up to the third. Open fifth string. Open fifth again. First on the sixth. Up to the third fret. Open fifth. Open fifth again. 
first or the sixth? Up to the third. Open fifth. Last loop, open fifth. First or the sixth. Up to the third fret. And then the open fifth to finish. There you have it. So as a final recap at the end of this, we have got your head, neck and body. We have your strings counting upwards from the ground, like the stories of a building. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our frets from our head to the body. One, two, three, four, five and so on. Most guitars, electric, have 22 to 24 frets. Smaller guitars may have less. Acoustic guitars, the body tends to come down around 12, 14, so it's hard to reach the higher frets anyway. Not that the number of frets really matters at this stage. Then we've got holding the plectrum, remember, not too much sticking out, but we can use the fingers or thumb if you need to. Then we've got pinching towards the body end of the fret, nice strong pinch between the finger and thumb, not the hand, to help you get the strongest sound, and then playing to try and keep in time. Now, once you've got this down, the next thing you need to do is understand reading tab, and then perhaps having a go at a couple of other riffs. All of that is covered on the Guitar Ninja Academy. Again, there's a link below, even with this being taught as the white strap course with how to read tab included, all the documents you need to download and all of that. And it's absolutely free to sign up for the beginner first few courses and get yourself well established in beginning to play the guitar. If you found this video useful, please give it the thumbs up, consider subscribing, leave a comment below on anything you think was really helpful or anything you think I may have missed that's really important for a beginner lesson. I have been teaching for a long time, so I assume I haven't missed much but we can all make mistakes and forget things. So please leave some comments in the uh, section below and I'll get around to making sure they're covered in any other videos. I'm releasing guitar videos every single week, including backing tracks, beginner riff of the week lessons, intermediate and advanced lessons as well for those that have been playing for a while. So consider subscribing if you haven't already and check out the Academy, like I say below. So. Now, how you could win this guitar. So I'm celebrating the fact that I've reached 30 years old without killing myself because I am a bit of a nutter when I'm not playing guitar. I'm also celebrating the fact that the Academy's been launched and the fact that the UK are getting back to being able to do face-to-face -face things very soon, if not already by the time you're watching this. So to celebrate, I'm giving this guitar away free, the premium side of the Guitar Ninja Academy for free, and I'm also gonna give away a month's access to the face-to-face -face guitar clubs if you live close enough to use those. However, you can win everything else as a winner even if you're not close enough. I will ship this anywhere in the UK, so the only terms and conditions really are that you're UK based when you apply. I will give away the Academy access to winners abroad as well, so if you did win and you're abroad, this guitar would have to go to second place, but you would still get access to the Academy there as a winner. All of the descriptions about how to enter the competition are in the link below. It is free to sign up. You just need to sign up with your email address. That is all. There'll be some terms and conditions, I'm sure, but yeah, that's all you need to worry about. No cost to the competition, no cost to anything whatsoever. It's all about celebrating the fact that things are finally opening up, the Academy's ready, and I've made it to a riper age than I thought I was going to. So, competition, link below. Ninja Academy, link below. Subscribe to the channel for more free videos. Like this video and leave a comment if there's anything else you want to learn. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope it's been really helpful for you as a beginner guitarist wanting to get that rockstar status started. And I'll catch you guys in a new video soon. Bye!